Let's go ahead and take a look at this today. This is the Hasbro Kenner Star Wars The Vintage Collection, The Mandalorian. This is the carbonized graphite edition, which means it has a metallic paint job throughout the figure. Um, this is how he appears in the first two or three episodes of season one of The Mandalorian. Uh, this is before he gets his Beskar armor. Uh, of course, he has his Durasteel parts and the Shore Trooper parts. Uh, but yeah, this is the Vintage Collection, which means it is a smaller figure. He stands at about... Um, a little bit taller than four inches, about four inches, give or take, uh, which makes him about almost ten and a half centimeters. So he is a smaller figure, but he does have this beautiful standout paint job throughout. Uh, before we go to get to the figure, let's go and look at his accessories. He does come with this pistol, uh, nicely painted. Got some silver paint, kind of a uh, brownish metallic paint. Of course, it's done up in that carbonized graphic paint as well, so it is all going to have this metallic finish. You also get his pulse rifle. Again, nicely sculpted, nicely painted. We get some gold and uh, this grayish metallic, as well as the same color as the pistol grip here. It does have a peg right there, uh, which you can use this hole or that hole, either or, and plug this into his back. And he holds his pulse rifle just like that. Uh, his pistol, of course, goes into his hand very easily. No problems there. Uh, it can be a little tricky behind the camera, but yeah, no problems there. So yeah, that's him holding his accessories. Uh, let's look at this paint finish, because I feel like that's the most standard part of this figure. Um, let me get my complaints out of the way. I feel like the paint finish on the head, the weathering here, I feel like it's a little bit heavy-handed. I feel like it doesn't look too purposeful. And like he kind of just uh, threw mud on his helmet. But it is well done. Let me get my little hand. Got some silver paint. We got this dry brushing and black paint. And I'm not gonna go through every single paint detail. I mean, we'd be here all day, but uh, he's covered in head to toe in that metallic paint. This looks like pearlescent plastic here. Pearlescent metallic, whatever. But I can't tell. But uh, we do got some different paint apps here. We got this nice reddish copperish color with some silver accents. Uh, we got some yellow with the blue or goldish yellow with the blue as the short trooper parts. Continues down here to his gloves. I can get that in focus. So you can see blue with this goldish yellow with uh, both sides have this uh, gold finish for the fingertips. Which is done all right. It's not too not too sloppy. His bandolier as well as painted. We got some silver paint apps uh, as well as this. More silver for the buckles. Uh, more silver paint apps here. We got this uh, nice kind of metallic light blue. For his hip skirts, even the thermal detonators have a little bit of paint in there, so that's nice. Um, his armor, different shades of paint there. You can see, same thing on this side. You gotta love the sculpt too. Very impressive for such a small figure. Beautifully sculpted in my opinion. It doesn't look too soft. It has a nice definition to it. It's not perfect, of course, but for what it is, it's amazing. Uh, we got some more paint apps down here for the boots. Lots of separation of color keeps it visually interesting. I don't like that blue, this color, all this. Um, extremely well done. Even this, the cape has that kind of finish and continues to the back of the figure as well. You see, even some battle damage, different paint apps layered on top of each other here. It's so beautifully sculpted. I guess this is another complaint. I wish this was fabric. It's just this uh, bendy plastic. It's not the most malleable, so you can't pose it. It doesn't drape too bad on the figure. It looks decent, but it's still not the best. But I can live with it, personally. His articulation is, unfortunately, the weak point, And uh, mainly this part, we'll get to that. But uh, his head is on a ball joint, so it can move all the way around. You can get some attitude out of it. It looks up about that much, kind of hindered by the helmet. Looks down about that much, which is fine in my opinion. The shoulder, this one goes about almost 90, splayed out. And this one as well, but this one's a little tighter. Uh, both arms, of course, they go all the way around. There's a elbow, single jointed elbow, which gets you about 45 degrees. The bicep swivel is cut there at the elbow. Uh, you can get, it feels like you can get a little bit of a butterfly movement, but I wouldn't count that. It does look like there's supposed to be a wrist hinge 
as you can see but either it's not there and that's just a part of the manufacturing or mine is extremely tight so you don't get no uh vertical movement or horizontal movement but you do get a wrist swivel i'm just going to take off the accessories they want to fall off anyway ball joint here at the torso so that acts as the waist swivel uh, you can't get some of that like a uh, teapot movement out of it and rotate it around there on the ball joint you do kind of get a slight ab crunch slight backwards crunch uh the hips are the weakest point in my opinion uh they are on disc hinges you can kind of see it there so in order to get the legs forward you kind of have to manipulate the disc hinge so it's forward like that and then spin the thigh and that'll get you your up movement you do get a nice range range of motion that's a very impressive kick and even like the back range for a figure like this that's impressive not even the six inch figures get that but uh, I feel like you don't get a natural stance out of it. They do play out all the way too. This is soft rubbery plastic so that it gets out of the way, no problem. It uh, doesn't hinder articulation. So that's all well and good. But like I said, it doesn't look natural no matter what you try to do, in my opinion. It always looks kind of awkward. So I feel like you're always kind of stuck in an A stance or just like a slight kind of walking stance or something like that. And uh, it's a bit unfortunate. But uh, that's what it is. There is a thigh swivel there. Um, single jointed knee gets you a little bit past 90 so that's fine here's another weak part there's no ankle rocker that contributes to the problem he has which is standing uh, I know these figures have a hard time standing in general but uh, it is kind of a chore to get him to stand but let me see he'll do it right now but trust me it's a pain uh, you do get forward though do get back and you can't swivel them so that's fine I guess there's a boot swivel there too and didn't notice that so his articulation is limited mainly in the leg parts and also i feel like his legs have this weird shape because of the ball um, the disc hinges if that would have been uh, t-jointed ball pegs that would have been more optimal uh, but i feel like his uh, aesthetic beats out his articulation and he's gonna look gorgeous uh in kind of either a static pose or a basic pose uh, he's, he's gonna look amazing because of that paint job I understand how that that can't be for everybody um but personally i find that to be astoundingly gorgeous let me go ahead and move him back and get some uh just a quick comparison out of the way there you go this is how he looks next to the black series the mandalorian the best for armor and he does have a third party uh cape as you can see if you like this uh carbonized paint job uh, just makes it stand out in comparison to this, which is just a flat silver plastic. It has no uh, sheen to it, just that plasticky sheen. It doesn't look like metal, it looks like plastic. Yeah, um, I believe this is a Walmart exclusive. I'm not sure if you can find it, but if you do, I highly recommend picking it up. Uh, don't pick it up on eBay if you find it really expensive. Don't do that. Uh, just wait, or you can find the Beskar one, which is the one I'm currently looking for that comes with Grogu. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend this figure, even if uh, you want to just keep it in its carded bubble, which itself it looks beautiful. I'm not going to show the packaging here, but um, just in the packaging, it, it'll look great on any Star Wars fan's uh, shelf. So yeah, highly recommend this. This is the Star Wars uh, Vintage Collection, the Mandalorian Carbonized Graphite, Graphite Edition. I hope you found this useful and entertaining, either or, and have a good one.